Well, hello there. A long time no see, at least in this capacity, meaning welcome to my June hair vlog. It's actually June 4th. Uh, I did my hair uh, probably four or five days ago at this point. I'm actually about to wash my hair now. I have some content to do for Trey Lux. And so I said to myself, I need to start this hair vlog. Um, what have I been doing to my hair? Not much. I've just been so low maintenance. Um, this hair is actually the Shea Moisture Wash Day. Uh, and I haven't done anything else to it. Like I wrapped that video up two days ago and I'm just now um, washing it again. So a little behind the scenes on that. But otherwise, like I haven't really been doing anything to my hair. Uh, I have most recently started oiling my scalp. If you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, then you saw that I post about like Undefined's R&R &R serum. And that wasn't sponsored or anything. That was me like really using the product and like, oh yeah, I want to make, <laughs> I want to make a short about this. But uh, I am about to go on vacation and so I am trying to like prep my scalp and things like that. And to be honest, the way that oil feels on my scalp, like it feels very soothing. Uh, I still see some flaking. I just need to bite the bullet and go to the dermatologist, honestly. Um, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was in the winter. So I think that's pretty cool. I've also been using that biomimetic hair serum from Necessaire. Um, before I use that R&R uh, &R serum in the mornings. And then at night, if I can remember, I'll use like the Divi hair scalp serum. Uh, you've heard me use all of those products before, but I'm sure at some point during this month vlog, you will see me use them. But yeah, I feel like... A lot of people were nervous that Fred was going to be jacked up after I used <laughs> that TikTok hair end trimmer. And I mean, I don't feel like my hair has split up the ends. I still haven't had my hair professionally done. Um, Kendall has actually been out of the country. Like she's been in Australia. She shut her shop down to get it renovated. So hopefully in July. Um, but yeah, I don't want to sit here and like just talk your head off. I just wanted to intro this. Um, I don't know what's going on with this glare. My, yeah, it's probably dirty. Nope. But, um, yeah, I'm about to wash my hair. Uh, we'll see how this goes, but I'm probably gonna have to wash my hair again in a couple days. But I actually have a few things planned for this monthly hair vlog. So you will see Fred and see how he's grown. We'll take a look at my ends and all that good stuff. But yeah, I apologize for the hiatus. I just, I just been a leaf in the wind, but <laughs> I'm back now. So let me get started on this wash day because I can sit here and talk to y'all all day long, all night long. It's 7.45 and I'm just now starting on wash day. Let's go. Ugh. It's two days later, so it's Thursday. And I just took my hair down from using Trey Lux's Aloe Primer along with their Soothe and Restore Mousse. Um, if you have watched any of my videos, you know like, I like Trey Lux, but their products are always kind of hit or miss with me. Um, I will say that I love the definition of my hair, but I don't like the way that my hair feels. Um, and like I said, I left them in for two days and my hair just like the ends, it's very frizzy and I don't know, maybe I just need a trim. Maybe I did a terrible job with installing. I did kind of rush. I did not take my time. But, um, yeah, I have a few flakes, but I was somewhat heavy with the product. So I definitely take full ownership for that. But I mean, I like it. I just don't love it. So yeah, they're, they're very doable products. And for the accessibility for being able to run out to like Walgreens and CVS and being able to like readily get my hands on these products, I would recommend them. I know that sounds like backhanded, but 
I mean, sometimes that's what matters. Like, if I just need something that I could go to real quick, I could probably reach for this. And especially if I would have done it on blown out hair and probably not used the primer, like the foam alone with maybe like a spray leave in underneath or even untie the knot. Untie the knot, which I absolutely love. Like, I feel like that would give me an amazing braid out, like on blown out hair. But for this to be day one, it's definitely doable. I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow because I'm going out of town on Saturday and I'm not going out of town with my hair feeling like this uh because I'm not gonna be home for a few days so we'll definitely elaborate more on my actual hair situation probably tomorrow because I'm not gonna film that wash day it's just a lot but I wanted to check in and let you guys know how I felt about those products and see you in tomorrow <laughs> It's 4.50 a.m. And I'm really about to wash my hair. Because I obviously didn't do it last night. And I need to pack accessories. And then I'll be all done. I swear. Can I take this? I'm going to take this too. I'm going to make sure it's empty. But I need to take this. 4.50. If I can get my hair done. I need to be out the door at 6.30. 6.15, so I have like an hour. Let me, you know what? I'll figure it out. Editing fan here. So I shampooed and deep conditioned with Ajwa's Bowel Mint Collection. And then I just used my Color Wow Extra Strength or Extreme, whatever it's called, Dream Coat to blow out my hair. And now this is what my hair looked like about three days into Tampa. Um, I had just rebraided it once and this is pretty much what my hair looked like the entire trip. Like I loved it. I pray y'all don't fall. So I just really wanted to do like an impromptu update. Um, I just got back from Tampa. It's Today's Wednesday, so I woke up Saturday morning, did my hair, we blew my hair out, and the Color Wow Extra Strength did its thing. Like, <laughs> I think I, I braided my hair one night there. Um, I only had oil, I just had my bread oil, and my Agua Melon Berry, so nothing with a lot of hole just um i just really wanted to keep my hair somewhat moisturized but um i still didn't wash my hair today because my fenty will be here on friday so i mean i might as well wait because y'all know i'm gonna do a video on that it's already up at this point we're getting that video up expeditiously but i just want to show y'all kind of that i did wear my hair out on vacation and now i'm just using my pumpkin squat pumpkin squash pumpkin spice mousse from Mish. um i did this maybe five or six hours ago i don't have uh, my hair dryer or anything but it's what the hair is giving and i think like once i separate it it'll be good to go i just really am glad that my hair has lasted like this i think blow drying my hair um and doing a blown out braid out was the best way to go for vacation. This is actually still kind of damp, but I don't care. Um, and I'm just really glad that products are like getting to a point where I feel more comfortable with wearing my natural hair doing anything. Not that I ever felt uncomfortable, but like leaving home and not packing my entire your regimen is a little daunting for someone like me. Yeah, this is definitely still damp. So we'll leave that alone. And so I'm just really glad that I was able to go on vacation and still feel cute and for it still look okay. Also, spoiler alert, um, I was able to get in with Kendall before my trip. I have another trip at the end of this month. So I will be finally getting a professional trim. It's been at this point seven months and y'all know I'm very anti that, but just wanted to come in, give you guys an update. Um, there's still more things that I wanna talk to y'all about my hair because like I noticed some breakage and we talked about in earlier videos how like thinness is in the front, but I really want to do more of an in-depth 
evaluation of that with you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that Fred has survived Tampa and the hair is coming along. I will check back in with those Fenty products for sure. Y'all, I'm sorry. I don't I don't know where uh, my camera is. So we're doing this from my phone. Another hair vlog check-in. I used the Fenty hair care line last night to do the swatch and go. Um, Fred not really feeling it. Fred, I'm not really feeling it. My hair feels dry. Like tomorrow's Father's Day. Like I got a whole cookout that I need to go to. And this is what my hair is giving. Like um, the shampoo and conditioner were cool. I don't know why I'm going over this again. If you haven't seen the video, go check that out. But um, yeah, it's a no for me, dog. Uh, I just wanted to show y'all this. So another wash day will be happening soon um, before I get my hair done for Chicago. So real quick update. We got to talk about these edges too. I keep, we'll, we'll talk. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to put some time on my calendar to sit down and talk to y'all. Okay, y'all, it's a Saturday morning and I'm rebraiding my hair. Um, I use the Fenty Home Curl. I think I told y'all that the other day. Um, y'all, this is what I wanted to talk about. I my edges are broken off. Can you see that? And it's like my entire like hairline gone. So I uh, look at that. I don't I don't know what caused it at first I thought it was because when my hair was straight I um I was wearing my like when I wash my face I would put one of those headbands on and I just feel like maybe my hair was dry the cotton I assume just kind of like kept rubbing on my on my edges you know because I was using it twice a day because I didn't want my um I didn't want my edges to revert. And so I don't know if that's what happened. I don't know if it's just, is my phone ringing? I don't know if it's just, you know, the color. I don't think it was, I don't think it's because of the color, but it could be, you know, it could just be that I have colored my hair too many times. Look at that. In the last couple of years um and so I I think I'm gonna stop coloring my hair I think I'm gonna grow this out but I love having color in my hair like that's the thing I'm gonna give myself until September to truly decide um it's been about seven months since the last time I, I colored my hair um this cowboy copper but I don't know like I really want to grow my hair out and I just kind of feel like I do a really good job in my opinion of maintaining my hair but because of my texture like me being lazy for a couple weeks I feel like it does a lot because when I get lazy I get lazy you know like and I just feel like it does a lot of damage because my hair can get dry and brittle and break off because of the color, because of the texture. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna talk to Kendall. Why is this one so small? Whatever. I'm gonna talk to Kendall on Tuesday when I go get my hair done and kind of see what she says. But I definitely don't wanna color it um, black to go back to black. I would rather just grow it out which is not going to be pretty in my opinion because I'm not going to chop my hair off. <laughs> but I don't know. I also don't really like the color that my hair is turning into. It's just now starting to like really fade. It's not as vibrant as it was. I don't know. I'll talk to her about my options. But yeah, I was... I was low-key devastated about my edges. Like, I've never been big on, like, swooping my edges and things like that. But, child. And it could be age. It could be health. It could be, it could be all types of things. But that is today's check-in. 
Hopefully this turns out okay. We'll see. Okay guys, so I am home from the salon and I just wanted to talk about my hair really quick. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see, but I just really feel like I'm not retaining length like I should be. Like I'm not happy with the way my hair looks right now. And I'm not saying that my hair looks bad by any means. It's just that I have to figure out what I'm doing that I'm not retaining length. Like, and not even that. My hair did not look good. Like, going into the salon, like, I have seen my hair look so much better. And that's even after all the bleaching, all the heat, and all of that. So, I said all that to say that the first six months of the year, I don't know. Like, I feel like my hair looked really good going into the new year. I don't know if the fact that I've been trying so many bonding products this month had something to do with my hair and like how it feels right now my ends were terrible like she literally had to cut off about this much seriously throughout my entire head because I always tell her like whatever needs to go I want it to go I don't want it to continue to split up especially because my hair is bleached and I mean what am I holding on to it for like I just need to figure out a better way to take care of my hair by no means do I feel like my hair is high maintenance. Like, this isn't a complaint. This is, I need to figure something out because I want my hair to thrive. Um, so, yeah, I do, I do think that because I tried Shea Moisture, I've used those Fenty products. And then I did a K-18 treatment. And I just feel like between all the protein and the alleged bond treatments, like, I feel like maybe it was a little rough on my hair. So, definitely gonna be mindful for that i think in july i'm just going to do um a brand for my wash days and maybe even sorry and maybe even stylers i just i really want to focus on the health and like retaining length like i said that going into the new year that's really what i want to focus on and that's really what i want to focus on so july if y'all want to see me trying out like a lot of new products or trying out a lot of new things, it's because like I definitely want to hit the ground running because I want to get my hair colored in September. And so that'll give me three months to make sure my hair is in the best condition before I tear it up with some more bleach. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um... I don't really know if I'm going to end this hair vlog here because uh, I am going out of town tomorrow. But I'll be back on Sunday, which is the 30th. So, I don't know. I guess we shall see. if I'll come back and end it either way. How about that? That sounds like a plan. Okay. Okay, so I am back from my trip. It's July 1st, so we are going to end this month-long hair vlog here. I feel like this hair vlog was pretty successful. I did not have a chance to clean and sanitize my tools like I wanted to. Um, I definitely, definitely want to get to that this week, so that will, fingers crossed, be in my July hair vlog. I'm really excited about my July hair vlog. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed it rained uh it's rained a couple days since i got my hair straightened um and y'all my scalp is already doing its thing it's been a it'll be a week tomorrow that i went and got my hair done so i mean we're still looking good i might play around with it tonight we shall see but um what was i about to say but yeah my hair still looks good um, it hasn't like frizzed up or anything from the rain. I'm feeling better about my trim. I just, I don't know. I really, really, really want to focus on the health of my hair. Um, so if you watch my regular vlogs, um, you'll see that in July, like I'm on a whole nother like mindset. I'm really locked in. Like it's a new year. So for real, for real, I'm going to end this here. Uh, and I will see you guys really, really soon in the next one.